Welcome back to Defense of Global, where we analyze the latest developments in global defense technology. Today, we're tackling some speculative but intriguing reports. Allegedly, Iran is using China's Shenong Shield 3000 laser defense system to protect its supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, from potential Israeli drone strikes or attacks. Could this new defense system actually provide a shield, and how does it compare to other military defense technologies? Let's dive into it. The Shenong Shield 3000 is a short-range anti-drone laser system designed specifically to neutralize low-altitude aerial threats. The system uses directed energy laser technology to target and destroy drones and quadcopters that could be deployed in assassination or surveillance missions. It's said to be effective at distances of around 1 to 5 kilometers, making it ideal for close protection around high-value targets, such as government buildings, military bases, or even the homes of key political leaders. According to reports, Iran may be using this system to protect the supreme leader in Tehran, fearing Israeli strikes like the ones that targeted Iranian scientists in the past. The question is, can a laser defense system really offer sufficient protection against modern, highly capable threats like those from Israel? When it comes to laser defense, the United States has been at the forefront for years. Systems like the HLMD, High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator, and the ROES, Laser Weapon System, are designed not only to counter drones, but also to take down missiles, small boats, and even rockets. These systems have a much longer range, up to 10 kilometers or more, and are integrated into multi-layered defense networks. The Shenong Shield 3000 has a shorter range and a more limited scope of targets compared to these U.S. systems. While it might be effective against smaller, low-flying drones, it doesn't offer the same versatility or power as U.S. laser systems. Additionally, it's designed to handle small threats rather than highly advanced missiles or stealthy high-tech drones. Now, let's get to the real question. Can the Shenong Shield 3000 actually protect Iran's supreme leader from a potential Israeli attack? Israel's military capabilities are far more advanced than just drones. The Israeli Air Force has stealth F-35 fighter jets capable of carrying long-range missiles that could strike targets from over 900 kilometers away. They also have cruise missiles launched from Dolphin-class submarines, giving them multiple avenues to strike Iran. Even though the Shenong Shield might be effective against low-tech drone strikes, it's unlikely to stop an Israeli F-35 armed with AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapons, JSOW, which can hit targets from long distances without being detected by Iranian radar. The system's short range and narrow focus on small drones make it inadequate to handle the full spectrum of threats Israel can bring to the table. So why did Iran choose to rely on this laser system? There are rumors that Iran wanted to deploy a defense mechanism that would be more flexible and mobile than traditional anti-aircraft systems. Lasers don't require ammunition, meaning they can engage multiple targets in succession without reloading. This makes them efficient for continuous drone strikes or waves of small threats. But here's the problem. Israel's strikes are not just about drones. They're known for their precision-guided missiles and stealth bombers, which pose a far greater challenge than what a low-range laser defense system like the Shenong Shield can handle. One of the most surprising aspects of this story is the involvement of China. Historically, China has been cautious about deploying its high-tech weaponry in conflict zones. China prefers to protect its advanced technology, especially in sensitive regions like the Middle East. So, if these reports are true, it could mark the first time China has allowed one of its advanced defense systems to be used in an area prone to conflict. If this deployment of the Shenong Shield 3000 to Iran is real, it would suggest that China may be re-evaluating its policies, potentially providing more military support to its allies. Still, it's important to note that these reports are speculative and the extent of China's involvement is unclear. In conclusion, while the Shenong Shield 3000 might offer some defense against smaller, low-tech threats like drones, it seems inadequate against the more advanced, multi-layered attacks that Israel could launch. Stealth jets, long-range missiles, and even cruise missile strikes would likely be outside the capabilities of this system. 
the short range and focus on small threats limit its effectiveness in real combat scenarios. The fact that China may have provided this system to Iran is a new development, but it's unlikely that this laser defense system alone could protect Iran's leadership from Israel's sophisticated military capabilities. For now, it's a matter of watching to see if more advanced defenses are deployed in Iran's bid to protect its most valuable assets. Thanks for tuning in to Defense of Global. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into the world's most advanced military technologies. Let us know in the comments, do you think the Shenong Shield 3000 can really make a difference, or is it just a small part of a much larger defense puzzle? We'll see you in the next video.